Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diana Loves Colors. Uh, today's unboxing I'm doing a little bit different. And this is from the Diamond Painting Company, Oraloa. Uh, this is what the box that it came in. And it was shipped in a larger brown box. And we're going to go over the contents of everything. But there is a picture of the artwork on the bottom of the box. And there's also one on the back. And they have their website and Instagram on the box. So um, we're going to go over everything that was in here. Uh, this is their card that was in the box. It's like a very large business card, but it says thank you. Their website, uh, all their social media information down there. And then we have um, their toolkit. Now I had a little bit of a hard time getting it out of this thin bag but it comes with a pair of tweezers and a sparkly pen with a three-placer on the end. There's a blue squishy. There's a nine-placer, a caddy of blue wax, and a MOSFA branded tray, which I like these MOSFA trays. They're a little bit sturdier than other trays that you get. It's very hard and stiff. I think the edges are a little bit higher. So, um, I like it. So, all of last year, I had um, searched Oraloa's website, uh, trying to find a diamond painting that would appeal to me. And I just uh, was having a hard time finding anything. But then I did, and I went ahead and ordered this in November, and it was in stock. Um, there was a problem with the shipping to me, and after a couple of emails, um, they said they would send me a couple of free gifts, small gifts, for my trouble which it was just something, um, a glitch in their shipping software. So they sent me some stickers and um, a little glittery, fishy cover minder and a small caddy of blue wax from, um, both of these are from some artisans that they deal with. And there are some little jemmies in there. That is actually a seashell. And this is hard wax, uh, different from the wax that you get from them. And it is, uh, it smells absolutely beautiful. And you can um, find these companies on their website. Uh, if you would like to purchase accessories and different waxes, there's a page here with diamond painting instructions and how to care for your diamond painting when you're done with it. And of course, we have our drills. These are bagged and they are all in order. DMC codes are on the baggies and let's just take a moment to look at those beautiful colors which is sort of what drew me to this picture. We have a sticker sheet here. This is uh, a picture of the original artwork and uh, this artist's name is Julie. They call her Bui Bui, and that's how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm not sure, but they call her that, and uh, that is also the name of this diamond painting. 
Over here we have uh, the peelable stickers that can go on your storage containers. There are 55 colors in here, and there are some ABs. We'll go over that, too. And the canvas did come in this uh, plastic sleeve. It has the kit number on it, which um, I think is under the little picture, the thumbnail picture up in the right corner. So we're going to go over the canvas. Did I just bang that? Sorry if I shook you. This is a nice short lint canvas. It is surged and scalloped on the edges to prevent fraying. It's very soft. It reminds me a little of Diamond Art Clubs. And there is a legend on the left and right side of this. The legend is a little bit lighter printed than I would like, but um, there are all the symbols. We have um, we have symbols, capital letters, small letters, and then up here we have the numbers. Uh, one through eight. So let me get that back down there into frame. I think it could be a little stickier, but it should be sufficient. And the plastic is a very nice, heavy plastic. Let me push that up a little bit more. Maybe a little more. <laughs> and they have their name at the top of the canvas and down here the artist's name and these measurements here which I kept thinking, this looks awful big. Um, and I measured it. It is not 23. That would be about 23 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. It is actually the artwork itself is 27 and a half by 27. So I will um, email them and tell them about that because it is still on their website as being this size. Before I forget, I also wanted to show you the symbol clarity here and that the symbols are very clear. It's a little hard to tell um, through the camera, but they are very clear. So let me lay this back down again. I'm sorry, it is starting to get a little bit dark out. So I just want to uh, go over the canvas really quick. I chose this because of all the bright colors. And it is very brightly colored. Um, I love her little outfit that she's wearing. Uh, I don't know if she is uh, Asian or Russian or an Eskimo baby doll, but I think she's so cute, and I love the colorful, I'm going to call it plant life, uh, flowers and fronds, and um, I had been calling these balloons or lanterns, and I'm not sure if that's what they are, uh, that's what they remind me of, and I did try to find out, uh, reading about it and I could not find out if anyone knows please please let me know so that's what really appealed to me about this canvas so 
We're going to take a closer look at one of the packs of drills because you know I like to do that. So the drills look nice. They have uh, a nice sparkle to them, uh, a lot of facets on them. They do not say on their site or in the paperwork if these are resin or acrylic. I I don't know. I'm been ha I've been having a hard time telling uh, lately, but they they look real good. So these are our black AB drills, and uh, you can see they have a, a very heavy coating of um, blue iridescent on them, and they're really beautiful. The bags of ABs do not have the DMC codes on them. I don't know why, but they are on the canvas, and... Uh, those peelable labels so I'm gonna tell you where these black ABs are charted for and they're in her costume here over on uh, this side here there are some on her sleeve um, but they are um, up there in the very dark parts of that balloon or lantern and but they are mainly charted uh her whole eyes and i'm not sure how that's gonna look uh and it is all of her hair i think which is gonna make her hair maybe look very blue i'm not sure we'll have to see how that goes so those are the black ab's so we have a shade of red here and a shade of reddish orange. And these also have a very heavy coating on them. Uh, they almost look metallic. All that red and orange that you see is mostly the flat bottoms. But these are going to go in this one here. And where you see these pops of red in the flowers, there, 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 and there, and all down here, a little bit over here. Uh, but that's mainly where the red ones, reddish ones are, both of them. Here are the orange ones, and these orange ones are going... Uh, mainly in this whole balloon up here. So that's going to look cool. And there are some down here in this orange area. Uh, there are some in her nose also. Now we have these two beautiful blues. And I love these. And these are going... Uh, in some of those big balloon lanterns and a few in her sleeves and this whole frond of plant life here and here some in there and then it is in her costume all where this is scalloped here and in her little hood I like that. Now we have these beautiful pale pink ones. And I thought that these would probably go where all the pink flowers are, the blossoms. Uh, and there are a few, but I was surprised to see that they are going in her, these pink areas of her hands. Um... And that's where they mostly are. And last we have the white ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, a special coating they put on um, regular drills to make them look 
uh, iridescent like that. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I'm sorry. But those are going um, in some of the whitest areas that you see, the whitest uh, flowers. I would have liked to see some in her outfit, but I don't see any charted there. Uh, they are, again, going in her hands and a big area of her face right here. And that is interesting. So those are all our ABs. Um, if anyone has done this kit, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. I'd love to read all of your comments. Uh, if you have um, done any other Oraloa kits, let me know your experience. And um, I thank you for watching this video that has gotten very long. And I'm going to let you go. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with something new.